Hey, in this YouTube video, I'm going to show you how to create new users and manage your current users, their profiles, create profiles, how to create roles, and how to assign roles to different users and assign user permissions, their ability to access, read, write, upload, and filter, or click on certain tabs, review certain tabs. And uh, so now I'm just going to switch over to Salesforce. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Setup. I'm currently in a system administrator type account, which will make more sense in a little bit. So I'm going to go to uh, over here in this. I'm going to double click users. And first, before I create, these are all the users that are currently in my account. But I'm actually going to create a profile um, first before I create a user because I'm going to assign the profile to the user when I create it. So basically all of these are the standard Salesforce profiles. And then these two right here are ones that I created. So I'm going to press new right now to create a profile and basically you clone an existing profile which gives all the standard permissions to whatever new profile you're making. So you can make different profiles for different types of workers that you're creating user names for. So I'm just going to clone I guess standard user and I'm just going to call this profile. You could just name it like whatever your employee is or whatever job title level they are. So I'm going to name the profile name as a custom standard user 3 and I'm press save which I can only make two profiles but if you press save you basically get sent over to like this page and then you click edit and then you'll have the same kind of view as me so now you're in this page and obviously I'm in a trial so I only have two profile limit um, so now you're on the same page as me once you uh, save and then click edit on this page and basically this is how the pro how it's set up you have like the description so you can like describe it that's not important and then you have like the custom app settings and you could determine like what apps they can like see or not see and then over here under tab settings under uh, like for this if you actually like uh, click tab hidden then this whoever you sign this profile to they can't see the accounts so here's the accounts tab they can not actually see or access the accounts tab but if you put default off then it's not on their navigation bar but if they click this pencil over here and they click add more items and they search for accounts so they could actually add it to their navigation bar so if you put tab hidden though they can't add it or see it whatsoever so that's how you can kind of customize what information is on the nav bar and what tabs they have access to. And then over in administrative preferences or administrative permissions, um, you have a lot of different customizations. Uh, you could say whether they could edit your reports or they could edit um, Like there's just all of these different like options. Manage roles, manage password policies, create groups, create reports. And then under general user permissions there are cooler uh, selections. So under here you could say whether they can like import stuff. So you check this box, it's not checked currently. Uh, you can check this and then they could import leads and if you watch my inventory management video that makes more sense about why that is important and you can click import contacts so they could import contacts and then over here you could check whether they have the ability to send email to actually reach out to people or run reports and you could do like whether they could do mass emails if you don't want them sending out mass emails to everyone you could say whether they can manage the leads so they could edit or create leads and I mean leads are very important because you could upload them so you could work with a lot of data at once and then down here you have the standard object permissions so here's like the accounts app you could say whether this user can read which is they could look at um, the data on the accounts tab and then under create you could say whether they could create an account 
like create a new account and then you can say edit if you want to give them the ability to edit currently existing accounts and then delete if you want to give them the ability to delete so you got accounts and cases and contacts and leads and all these uh, other options up here and then for like down here you could select whether like their password never expires or it expires every 90 days and you could say like when the activity when the account times out and you could say like all these all these password complexity if you want to make it no like make it easier to remember a password and all this other stuff so then you click save once you edit all this stuff and now you have a profile and you could also just click edit right here and then uh, you can edit your profile again if you want to change any settings that you want later on and so now that you created a profile I mean let me just go to profiles so here are like the three main profiles you got system administrator which is the first user in your Salesforce is the administrator it's the top person and they're automatically assigned as system administrator and I mean uh, and then if I go to users you can see that I am a system administrator so you can see all the profiles on the users page so let me go back to profiles and I mean this uh, custom user that we just made is actually based off of the standard user here so down here in users I mean system administrator can view all modify all data customize apps and so everything I do in my Salesforce videos you can do as a system administrator so a standard user can view and edit records that they are given access to and they can delete their own records and then read only which is this one can only read records and they can't make changes so now that we created a profile I'm going to show you how to I guess I'm going to show you how to create a user well actually I'll show you how to set up a role and then I'll show you how to set up a user so under roles you could say uh, set up roles and over here you have this role as vba tutorialcode.com and then you could add a role underneath vba tutorialcode.com and it'll be on the same level as vba associate or you could add a role under vba associate and it'll be under vba tutorialcode.com and vba associate so I'm going to do that and label is whatever the name is so I'm just going to call it like vba intern and click out and then it says this row reports to VBA associate and I'm just going to display this as the name on the reports VBA, VBA intern and click save so now when I go to the roles you could click assign users to the role and then also when you're creating the role you can select the role if you're in classic view but not in lightning view um, so if you go to setup roles And then you click the plus then you see the VBA intern uh, underneath VBA associate so this is basically like a branch hierarchy for the different roles and it's like your organization's role hierarchy like the org chart and basically the data of users at lower levels in the branch role hierarchy can be seen by superiors or people at higher levels on the role hierarchy and I mean now I'm just gonna go to and show you how to create a new user so I'm gonna go and press new and here you just enter like the first name last name and then you put in like their email address and then for the profile you should use a profile that we created and it was custom standard user so you sign that profile and those permissions that we set and like import of a bit like they could import and 
all those other permissions and read write whatever you selected so that's uh, what that is this active button means that it's an active profile and then under assign licenses you could check a marketing user this actually in Salesforce classic you have much more options for assign licenses uh, so I'll show you that in a little bit I'll show you how to create a, right now I'm creating the user in lightning experience uh, you could set like their mailing address and then you set like their location whether Eastern Standard Time and their language is English so I'm going to press save and alright so now this new user was created first last and over here you could click this button click edit user and you could edit whatever you want you can make them not active active and I mean you could do the same thing with like any of the current users in the, the accounts uh, so if you actually click up on your profile and you switch to Salesforce classic and then you go to setup and like users and then you create a new user this page is the new user page for Salesforce classic and you could set up aliases here um, you could set up their email for whatever their email is and that'll be what they use to log in and where they'll receive their verification email um, here is my verification email and that'll let me sign into Salesforce and then you could set up over here their user license you basically here you just uh, here you basically select uh, Salesforce but here are the standard user licenses you got uh, Salesforce which is available in all editions and then you got like Salesforce platform which is available in that so here's like that in this website and you could just look up the standard user licenses uh, but basically you select Salesforce and then after you select uh, the user license you could select the roles so I'm gonna say this person is an associate and then you select the profile so the role just determines the hierarchy of the data that they could see and the profile determines uh, what they have access to, what they could view, what they could edit, what they permissions import, whether they could see what tabs they could see, if they could see the account tab or not, if it's tab hidden or if it is um, if it's turned off or not. Um, and then so you could assign the profile right here. And then over here, remember how I mentioned that it had like marketing user and so these are these are the feature licenses and um, if you combine like a few different uh, like if you google around you can say like what can the marketing user do so um, for my profile for example if you want to be able to uh, if you want to be able to add or update campaign members via the data import wizard you need to be a marketing user and you need to have read checked on contacts or you have to have import lead selected and you have to have edit on campaigns so you could google around based on what you're trying to do and work backwards and be like do i want this user to be able to filter data or not filter data and so and then down here you could select uh all the same information basically but i mean on the standard classic view you have uh you have additional selections that are easier to find right right here and yeah so let me just you click save when you're done and then the user gets created and you could switch back to the lightning force view so right now i'm just logged in as like the system administrator and i can see the accounts page but remember like i made the tab hidden for the other username so i'm actually going to sign in as the other username i already verified one of my accounts so i'm going to log out of salesforce real quick and I mean you got the verification email for another user but I'm not actually going to log in with this one I'm just gonna log in with another one uh, so let me just go over to my my link again so I'm gonna bring up Salesforce I'm gonna select a different user uh, so this was the the, G, uh, the username I provided I, I gave them this username while I was creating the account uh, so the email that you provide in the lightning experience user creation and in the classic view is the email is the login name 
and then it, it prompts you to create a password the first time you log in I already did that so I'm gonna press log in so I'm logging into my second user currently obviously it doesn't have my profile pitch anymore because I'm in a different username now I'm in custom standard uh, I'm in the custom standard user let me go to settings and you can see my profile so and then yeah so I'm, right now I don't have access to the accounts tab uh, because I just don't um, and I also don't have access to the custom certain custom views uh, created by my other account custom list views and I show you how to create custom list views in my inventory management and my lead uploads video um, and the particular uses but basically this uh, new user that I created they're still able to create list views so I'm just gonna make like a custom list view for like this new user and I'm gonna click save so basically you could filter you could like filter by my leads or queue only leads which I go over in my inventory management video um, but if I was in a view created by someone else, a custom list view created by someone else, I can't change filters because I don't own this particular custom list view. It's owned by someone else. Um, but if I click on like the accounts, I could convert the accounts, um, but I can't change the owners for leads that are owned by someone else. But if I go to, I guess, my leads, because uh, this is my alias you access. So if I create any leads, then I'm able to click on the lead and I'm able to select change owner. And I could only select the user. Uh, I could only select this user. I can't select the user, the system administrator user above me. And I can't even see them in the lookup menu. And then also under queues. I could actually still assign uh, I could still assign the lead to a particular queue created by the system administrator so I could still send it to a queue and after I create the lead and also if I go to leads initially you're not able to import but I, I check that box uh, enable importing so I can import uh, leads and I'm not actually going to do it, uh, but I show you how to import leads in my lead upload video. Um, so, yeah, that, I, I enabled that functionality. You can basically work backwards with all the functionalities and determine how you want the users to be able to edit other records created by other people, or add records, or delete, or edit their own records. And I mean, if I go to campaigns, which wasn't on my nav bar but I enabled it by clicking here and searching for campaigns and adding it to my nav bar, but you can make it so it's already available. You can customize which tabs appear on the nav bar for each of your users. I'm gonna go to campaign one. And since I was a marketing user and I enabled, um, let me see, since I was a marketing user, let me, let me see what's, I was I, this uh, user I created. I made them a marketing user, and I selected the checkbox "Read on Contacts," and I also selected "Import Leads," and I clicked "Edit on Campaigns." Uh, so now this person could import leads and contacts from a campaign, and they have the ability to import. I show this in my advanced lead import video. Uh, so this person has the ability to uh, work with campaigns that way, and. You could also like turn off whether you want the person to be able to send email to contacts. I have it enabled uh, by default. And yeah, that's basically how you create a new user and how you assign permissions and whether they can access certain tabs and edit and add records to certain tabs and upload. And thank you for watching my video.